What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another K-pop music video reacts. Today I'm reacting to Pixie's Villain. Now this song just came out a couple of days ago. I've uh, followed Pixie. I, I kind of discovered them last year. Or actually they debuted last year. And after my discover of Dreamcatcher and their sound, I was told that Pixie was kind of similar. They had a dark vibe. They have a very intricate story. And I got to agree, uh, I love all of Pixie's comebacks. I do see a very... Uh, amazing kind of progression from wings all the way up to bewitched story wise uh concept wise production wise so i'm excited for villain if i remember correctly in bewitched there was the witch who was sort of tempting the fairies the girls my interpretation was that the girl sort of succumbed to the temptation so now is this the continuation of that and now they're villains the the album is called reborn so now the fairies are reborn as villains if so that is an awesome concept I'm loving it already, if that's true. If not, you know, I'm sure the song's gonna be a banger. Anyways, that's enough of me talking. Let's get to Pixie's villain. Already, before we get started, I just gotta say, this is a very weird shot. It's just like a bunch of, it looks like motorcycle uh, enthusiasts in a jewelry store with helmets on. Maybe they're trying to rob the place. Could go with villain. So it says Dark City Episode 1 Reborn. Now I haven't really been following too much of the lore. Like I've, I've followed a little bit to know sort of the story. But I wonder if this is like Episode 1, are other tracks going to be other episodes? Because I know that their EP came out and there's a, it's a pretty hefty EP, which is really cool to have a, a lot of B-sides. So Dark City Episode 1 Reborn. And I'm guessing they're reborn as the villain. Pixie has been reborn. That like crunchy distortion. And then, okay, so they kill all of the, the motorcycle enthusiasts, but but why? Like they're robbing this jewelry store, but why? I don't know. I don't know who these people represent, but they just kill them. And that's like a way to say, hey, I'm the villain. I'm just walking into a room and I'm going to shoot you. And like this is all in English too. And I, I don't know if they do this again, but that those harmonies, those like descending harmonies up top are so, so satisfying. Oh, it's so good because the the main line is like flat, but then the harmonies kind of just like help it move along. I love that line. So this this part really throws me for a loop because you don't hear it ever again. And it's like a totally tonal change. I thought this was like the pre-chorus, but it is just like another verse. Also, it's like she's calling me. I wonder if they're talking about the witch. Those sound effects too. Also that very slight, there's like a very slight camera movement in between her lines that kind of like zooms in just a little bit faster and it kind of like accentuates that next line. Yeah, I really like that. It's so small. The footsteps and the... Oh, man. And then, oh, man, I didn't even uh, listen to, like, the the kind of... You already hear the funk, and you already kind of hear... You, give, you get, like, previews, almost, of what the chorus is going to sound like, and it's, like, super filtered, and so it's, like, really muffled, and then the filter sweep comes in. I, and, and, like, kind of the, the line, like, that's the chorus line, isn't it? She shoots herself. Oh, and then like opens up. 
Oh, I didn't. <laughs> that was a cool. I must have missed that. But <laughs> I stopped right when it said it and it just threw me off. So first, they're all killing themselves. So I'm thinking the villain of the fairies, like the villain side of the fairies is killing the fairies and they're being reborn as villains. Also, visually, it's awesome when we see Jung shoot her, her other half and we like go inside the bullet hole and then it's just it's a whole bunch of special effects and it just like the production value i'm telling you the production value has gone so high and i love it villain. and that villain that villain line is like soup is a lot louder than the mix itself i feel and then just the chorus like can we like the chorus is just like straight up funk and i did not expect it from from like bewitched it's coming from a totally different place Oh yeah, and then I don't know. I I don't think the vocal line is actually cutting out. I think it actually is, but it just sounds like it's cutting out. It sounds like they cut it, but they're still saying the lines. I'm pretty sure. I really like that effect um because it it almost like lets the the music just like talk for that like one little second. I think. Then maybe it is cut out. It's like it's like hiccuping. And then we get over the rap first. The rappers, uh, especially on the right side, there's like a nice funky guitar we kind of now we know that this is sort of like a funk song they kind of don't uh hide it like they did in the first verse they, they kind of like bring parts from the chorus over Yeah, that, that like funk guitar is like present throughout. And so she's like part of the motorcycle group. I don't know. It's so good. And this is like a goodness paradox. So what is that? What could that mean? So I quickly looked up the word paradox because I know sort of what the word means, but I wanted to like be absolutely sure. And it kind of means that there's like a person, a thing that combines contradictory features or qualities. So when we're thinking about the fairies, like a goodness paradox, the I'm saying, I'm thinking that like, I don't know what I'm thinking, that they have the good qualities of being the fairies, but because of the witch, and now that they've been reborn, they also have the qualities of a villain possibly am i thinking too hard about this probably but you know what that's what you do when you react to stuff we're gonna go back here because i don't think i watch enough also i'm not a hundred percent sold on the second verse because i think i feel like it, it kind of it kind of throw away the pre-chorus because this is like the verse right still a verse And like, is this supposed to be the, the verse or the pre-chorus? Because then it just goes straight into the chorus. The beginning of the end. Killing you now, don't make a sound. 
I love that Tapiol got two rap verses. So she killed everybody in the in the elevator. Man, they're killing a lot of people. The death count in this video alone, so high. I'm scared of them now. They were fairies. They're not fairies anymore. And then it's so, okay, we got the paparazzi. Not really sure who they sig uh, signify, but it's weird how we go from the bridge to, I guess this is like the refrain part of the song. And then we don't get another chorus. I kind of was hoping that we would get a bigger chorus, but. Also, they're just so happy still. <laughs> I really like that line, the how they repeat that line. Add that like repeating melody sounds so familiar. I don't know where it's from, but they also don't like sort of resolve it. It kind of just like cuts. And you know, I like when songs do that because it's just like, you, it makes you want more. That's why I wanted another chorus after this. One more time. Okay, I do really like this like outro. <laughs> but they're just so happy. They're villains, but they're happy villains. I guess, you know, when you're a bad guy. And we got the, the wing, the fairy wing. I don't know who this is supposed to be. And it's over. I need episode two. I, I wonder if I have to look up if they have like sort of a layout of like maybe they are releasing other MVs or maybe this is just going to be, I don't know. I'm in. I'm totally in. So, so different from Bewitched and kind of kind of everything they've done before, but it still sort of fits. Like it's not dark. Yeah, I'm just, it is very different from Bewitched. Super funky, super just like kind of happy, but like the lyrics and the visuals are very dark. Like they kill a lot of people killing their their selves, killing their other selves, the reborn as villains. I like it. I am so glad that I finally get to watch and react to a Pixie song relatively close to when it came out because before I was always so far behind, but I'm I'm like in, I'm strapped in. I, I can't wait to see what they do next and just kill it. I need to listen to the rest of the EP though. That's what I'm gonna do like right now. That was Pixie's villain. I really, really like the song. It is so, so different from kind of anything they've done before. Super light, super poppy and like funky, but then the lyrics and the visuals and maybe the meaning behind the song is a lot darker where they have like this duality of good and evil and they're kind of being reborn into the villain side of themselves, maybe. Hopefully somebody in the comment section can help me out. So drop a comment in the comment section if you know a little bit more about the lore of this song, especially if it is related, maybe this isn't related because it says episode one. So maybe there, this is just like a brand new story. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But if you have any more theories or uh, what you thought of the video, let me know in the comment section. You can also follow me on all of the social media apps that I will put in the description box below. And that is it. That's all. Thanks so much again for watching. And until the next video, have a great day.